very tired of uh, only having to use chemotherapy with patients with cancer. And the idea of infecting a cell with a virus and having that virus kill the cell is intriguing. If that cell's a cancer cell, then you're treating the tumor. And we've been able to cure mice of cancer with these viral therapies, and we'd like to have that happen in people as well. We think that that's going to be another weapon, as it were, in the fight against cancer, hopefully something that plays a very important role in improving children's lives. I'm particularly interested in a disease called necrotizing enterocolitis. And this is a disease that newborn babies, particularly premature babies in the nursery, develop, and it can be life-threatening. And I identified a novel new growth factor that can protect cells from injury. And this growth factor stimulates cells to grow and to migrate or to move. And those are very important components of the wound healing module. And over the last two decades, we've done many, many studies in the research laboratory that show that HBEGF can protect the intestines from various forms of injury. So our goal in the next several years is to bring our findings in the research lab to the clinical bedside so that we can actually present, prevent babies from developing necrotizing enterocolitis in the first place. We, were, we did the first gene therapy trial for Duchenne muscular dystrophy that was done in the entire world. We just had a major success in a phenomenon called exon skipping. It involves uh, taking a, uh, an abnormal part of the gene and skipping over it and making the gene work very well. I have to say that if it wasn't here, I don't really think it could be done because we have, um, we have incredible support for this translational program. We probably have the best GI facilities in the entire country. We have a, a unique uh, uh, space that has endoscopy, clinic, uh, research uh, uh, group, uh, uh, offices all in one area that makes uh, uh, very convenient and easy to perform uh, uh, endoscopies and to do our job. And it's very child-friendly atmosphere. We attract patients from all over the world with uh, specialized uh, GI disorders. And uh, that's because we offer innovative treatments. We offer diagnostic techniques that are non-invasive and we are the only ones that offer those. As we looked at a new way to deliver patient care here at Nationwide Children's Hospital and building our uh, replacement patient tower, families were key and instrumental in helping us with the design. They went through mock-up rooms, tested and trialed how the facility would fit their child's needs and their needs. The facility is, I think, um, a very unique approach to furthering our mission of family-centered care. Dr. Allen, you're a, f a physician CEO. What is it about being a physician that allows you to innovate as a, as a leader of a major healthcare organization like Nationwide Children's? To me, uh, having been at the bedside for so many years before I got into administration, uh, my single-minded focus about what we do has to be trying to create the best bedside experience possible. This hospital looks so different than what it did even six, seven, eight years ago. And it happened because the people here were trying to figure out what can we do to, to make this uh, a better place and attract better people with the single-minded goal of how we're going to eventually provide better care to uh, children.